Spring Bulk Day 16. Boys, we're going to be hitting a uh, absolutely crazy back day today. And if you watched my video yesterday, you'll realize what I've done to get my back absolutely freaking stacked these days. And the main thing that's helped, believe it or not, is just cheat reps. Don't be afraid to get in some body English. Don't be afraid to move around a little bit. But guys, we're kind of in a rush today. I had my creatine. I had my collagen. Um, and by the way, if you don't know why to take creatine, um, I could explain it in like caveman terms. Creatine make more muscle. That's basically it. And then collagen, uh, you know what I'm saying? Collagen is just real good for the joints and everything. So, and I, I've actually noticed a little bit of a difference since I've been on it. So, especially with like a lot of weird joint angles you might find yourself in uh, while you're lifting. They might, you know, hurt your joints a little bit, but then that collagen helps and makes that recovery a little quicker. So we have a piece of coffee here. I'm going to throw in some ice cubes just that way I don't burn my tongue and I could just chug it real quick. But I think we're going to start off today with uh, heavy preacher curls. I'm going to go with like, I think 60 was too much. Um, I definitely want to do 50 or 55, one of those two and just go real slow, pause at the bottom, um, and get a little bit of a deeper stretch, okay? I might even do that with uh, 50. Because here's the thing, I'm a firm believer in cheat reps and everything, and you know, the occasional partial, but I don't think that the entire training that you do for your whole body should be founded on that. I think different mu muscles benefit from different things, and I think, when I was doing 60 last week, my left arm could handle it pretty easily, but on the right, I noticed there was a little bit more cheat and I wasn't going down all the way. So, and that's kind of the whole point of a preacher curl. So definitely want to get a nice, good full range of motion, a little bit deeper than before. And that's why I might even go, I think 55 is going to be really solid, but, um, that, and then we're going to do wrist curls. We're going to actually do wrist curls first, uh, probably with like, 95 I'm thinking 90 to 95 uh, but the thing is those are so taxing at the beginning they kind of mess with the rest of my workout so I might just do I might just do 85 to 90 something around there um, and then just really rep it out you know I do believe heavy reps are extremely effective to fast track your forearm growth but at the moment uh, you know when I did 105 pound wrist curls, that really, really did a lot to my joints that I wasn't a big fan of. It just felt like a really weird angle to work in with that much weight. So uh, we're gonna definitely reduce that and just increase the reps, which shouldn't be an issue because I'm hitting failure either way. As long as I actually you know go to failure, it won't be a problem. Um, then we're gonna do, I think it for back, those hammer strength throws that are like more diagonal uh we're gonna max out the stack on that do five plates per side and we're gonna do just single arm um then after that either we're gonna do t-bar rows and i want to do two sets uh on the high handles and i think two sets on the low handles or maybe something else who knows who knows but anyway boys i gotta chug this coffee now I will see you guys in the gym. Oh, hold on. I didn't drink my maple syrup. Well, you got to chug that real quick. Get in some quickly digesting carbs.
Давай, давай, давай. On the left, for whatever reason, it moves pretty poorly, but on the right, it moved super well. That was a PR. I think I got six reps there, so that's nice. But we're gonna do a huge back down set, basically 50% of the original load, 45 pounds less, and this should feel very nice and, uh, and high quality for a blood flow kind of set. Definitely wasn't a failure, but I started feeling my wrist miss groove a little bit. All right, boys, so what did I say last week? Heavy wrist curls kind of hurt and feel stupid. I did them anyway, and I'll tell you what, it was 50% worth it. On the left, I freaking hurt myself, but on the right, it felt super good and I hit a PR, so I genuinely do got to give them a break, though, because they're kind of just starting to feel worse and worse every week.
Oh. All right, boys. I am freaking in my bed. Okay, I'm extremely tired. Looking forward to leg day tomorrow. We're gonna absolutely crush leg day. We're the freaking uh, crush leg day. But we can't get too hype right now, boys, because I'm trying to fall asleep. I'm not trying to get hype. So, um, you know, tomorrow leg day is gonna be personal. We're gonna absolutely get tree trunks, man. I mean, that's the goal. I want 30 inch legs. You know, I'm not gonna settle for anything less. So. We're going to train like we want, 30-inch legs. I mean, the only thing that might be potentially limiting us tomorrow is the fact that I still, my calf still hurts from last week. Uh, it's much better. It's very improved. But it's enough for me to be like, okay, I don't know if I actually have time. Or not time, but I don't know if I have the recovery yet to be able to do a solid calf workout. Maybe I do. But the lying hamstring curls are what tweaked my calf in the first place. And then on top of that, the squats really did it in. I changed up my stance a little bit. I put my feet forward more, and for whatever reason, that uh, put way more pressure on my calf. So that's the only downside about heavy squats is just random crap happens that you're just not expecting, really. So anyway, boys, uh, the back day was excellent. It was it was pretty quick, and I did way lower volume than I wanted to because we were just talking to people and just kind of enjoying our time there. But um, you know how it is, man. You just talk to people in the gym. I'm glad that I didn't lose my back pump. Uh, I instead just lost the bicep pump and then was fresh to do my back workout still, if that makes sense. So it wasn't like I was already warmed up and then had to warm up again. It was like, all right, my biceps, I toasted them. And then, you know, my back was ready for a freaking beating, you know. So anyway... Yeah, be the Kevin McLeod music. You guys can't go wrong with the Kevin McLeod music. I think it's like, what's it called? Let me look. Who likes to party? That song's absolutely legendary. I freaking love that song. And you know, I always heard it before, but I didn't really like. I didn't know what it was called, so I searched for it because I wanted to put it in tonight's video. Um. That's it. I kind of want to talk more, to be honest. Let's think. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Well, it was good talking to you guys. I hope you guys have a good night.